Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we are gonna be doing an enclosure clean for Bodhi, my crested gecko. You can probably see him here. So it is that time of the month again. Usually about once a month, I make a point to go in here and do a really deep clean on Bodhi's enclosure. Obviously throughout the week, I kind of spot clean. Obviously whenever I'm giving him new food and water, I'll wipe down the doors of his enclosure because a lot of times they will pee and poop on there and stuff. But it is that time of the month, so we're gonna do a really deep clean today. I get questions all the time asking about Bodhi, wanting to know how he's doing. Is he being nice now? Can I hold him? Can I handle him? Or is he still being aggressive, etc.? The short answer is no, I cannot hold him still. He's still very aggressive. He has just taken on the full gator form. He is completely miniature crocodile, which again, it's totally fine if he wants to be that way. He's very, very territorial over his enclosure, and that just is what it is. I have done everything from rearrange his enclosure. I bought more vines. I bought new hides. There's a big cork bark in there that I got for him. I tried to kind of hand tame him all over again, and I got bit like three times. I really have tried a lot of different things and I think this is just gonna be how he is you guys did suggest to me to actually like move his enclosure either out of the pet room or just move it to like another spot in the pet room and so I'm really excited to actually try that right now this is kind of the best place for his enclosure but I am really excited because I do have some plans to actually be rearranging my entire pet room pretty soon within the next couple months I'm really excited about that I hope that it all works out and I am able to do it so that will kind of be like my final attempt at maybe seeing if that is able to help his aggression at all by just moving his enclosure either out of here or just to a different wall or something and seeing if that helps at all. I don't know. I am trying, but he's just an angry little gator right now. But regardless of how angry he is, we do have to clean his enclosure. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video because YouTube is suppressing views and suppressing videos right now. So you may not even see it in your inbox. So please hit the notification bell and that will help you to see them. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is I have my little clean wash rag here. This is what I have to very gently get him out with and kind of cup him in the wash rag because, because he is on high alert at all times and will just attack, attack, attack. So. so we're gonna go on and get him out first. We're gonna be putting him in the travel carrier and then we'll be able to get started cleaning. All right travel carrier ready and prep. There's just a little towel blanket in here. There used to be eco earth in here, but it was really, really messy and I didn't like how he was on the eco earth. So, all right, Bodhi, are you ready? And there he is. You guys can't see him, but I'm getting him. He's attacking the glass. This is typical Bode behavior. Come on. There he goes. All right, he's got it. So what I do is I dangle the washcloth in here He's already latched on, but once he latches onto it, then I can just wrap it around him and it makes it easier for me, <laughs> me to get him out. This is so ridiculous. Bodie, why are you like this? Here is the angry little Bode. Hello. Hello. Say we are so grumpy, but we are so pretty. Show him your pretty tongue. Ooh, you're a beautiful Bode. All right, so now that he's out, I've got him in his wash rag safely without being bitten. We're gonna go ahead and put him in this little travel carrier and then we can get cleaning his enclosure. Isn't that right? So basically the first thing I do is I take out all of the food trays and everything because his food ledge always gets dirty. He splashes his water and food everywhere. So we're gonna take out that first and then we're gonna take out all of the branches and logs and then we're gonna spray them down really good in my bathtub. So here's his food ledge. As you can see, his food and water are really gross. So we're gonna go and we're gonna rinse this off really good. He doesn't poop a lot on his branches. Like you can see, there's a little pee and poop right here. But typically, he just poops and pees all over the glass. I mean, that's typically where he hangs out. So we're just gonna get everything out of here and clean this out really, really good. His cork bark is actually really clean. There's no pee or poopy in it at all. Good boy, Bo. Then I have his vine, which he loves, which always has lots of little pee and urates on it. And then his big tree of life, as I call it. All right, so here's the bulk of his branches and trees. I'm gonna go take these and rinse them off and I'll be right back. Okay, now it's time to do the deep clean in here. We're just gonna spray it down really good with dechlorinated water and then we are gonna wipe it out really, really good. This vine actually looks really good. I don't think that he hangs out much near it in the back, so I'm not gonna rinse this one off, but all the other ones I did. I am gonna wipe down the back and the walls and the bottom really, really good though. Okay. 
So we're just gonna spray all this down and then just let it sit while we wipe down the bottom. All right, we're just cleaning this out really, really good. Now the urate should come off of the foam really easily because they've been wet. Now we're gonna get the walls really good. Really wanna get that off really good. All right, I'm just lining the bottom with some clean paper towel again. All right, so now that all of this is cleaned and wiped out really well, we're gonna go get all of his branches and tree limbs and then we're gonna put them back in here. All right, so we're gonna rearrange this a little bit different. I do like to change it up a little bit. So we're gonna rearrange things a little bit different in here. We'll put his little tree in the back. His little vine. I think I'm gonna put the food ledge on the door for a change. Um, it's really hard to feed and water him as it is, so I think taking it from inside and putting it on the door, not only is it a little bit different of a routine for him to come over here, but also it might make it a little easier for me to feed him. So it might be a win-win. We're gonna give him some fresh food, of course. This is his Pangea with bugs. I ordered this big bag off of eBay. Give him a good scoop of it. All right, so his food is done. That's kind of what it looks like. It's not too watery, not too thick, but it's mixed really well. And that's what we're gonna put on his ledge. I'm just gonna mist down the enclosure really, really good for him. Now that it's all clean, it looks so good in there. And then we are ready to put him back in there. All right, Bubba, say bye-bye. Say bye to everyone. You so cute. Look at your face. Why are you so mad? Say bye bye. All right, there you go. Good boy. Bye bye. You be good. He's like, I'm still angry, go away. <laughs> well, 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 look who's eating. Is he good? Is he good? I'm just eating it all up, huh? You're so cute. All right, guys, that is it for this Crested Gecko tank clean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing Bodie. I still have hopes that Bodie will come around and be the sweet little gator he once was, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.